What's up everybody? So in this video, we're going to be talking about DNA replication. So this is a super important topic, but I'm going to try and make it as clear and as easy as possible for you guys. So let's just get started. So DNA replication. First, let's start with a person. So who is this guy? This is Brad Pitt, right? He's a person just like me and you, believe it or not. And what is he made of? Just like me and you, he's made up of billions of these things called cells, right? Now, cells have a lot of organelles here, each having their own kind of purpose. Now, this one here is called what? This is your nucleus. Now, what does your nucleus do? Your nucleus is the little place where your DNA is stored. Your DNA. Your DNA. Your deoxyribonucleic acid, right? So this little guy here, your DNA. Now, your DNA is what? Your DNA, in, in the most simple way of saying it, is like your instruction manual, right? Your DNA is the code that makes you the way you are. Your cells are going to read your DNA and do exactly what it says, and that's going to make you the way you are. It's your instruction manual. Very, very important. That's the most basic way of saying what it is. Now, now that you know where your DNA is, why on earth would you need to replicate your DNA? First of all, what does replication even mean? Um, replication is the same as duplication, meaning making double of, making more of. When you duplicate it, you make it, instead of having one set of DNA, you're now making two sets of DNA. So why on earth would you need to do that? Why would you need to do DNA replication? Well, very simple. Your cells, right? You're made up of cells. Why? Your cells need to divide, right? So why, why do your cells need to divide? So First of all, we know your cells need to divide. Dividing means you have one cell and it divides into two cells. Now, these two cells are identical to the first cell, meaning this cell is exactly the same as this one and exactly the same as this one. So the cell does not divide in half and this one will be half as good and this one will be half as good. No, you're going to learn about cell division in another chapter, but cell division is a process by which this cell will duplicate itself and have make, um, become two two, which are exactly the same. So when your cell divides, what happens to your DNA? Do you think this cell will now have half the amount of DNA and this one will have the other half that, that this original cell had? No, they both have the full set of DNA. That must mean what? That must mean that before this cell divided, it duplicated its DNA so that it replicated its DNA so that when it divided, each of the daughter cells or the baby cells now have a normal amount of DNA. So that's very important. That's what you need to understand. That's why we need to do DNA replication. When our cells divide, our DNA needs to be duplicated beforehand so that the baby cells will have a normal amount of DNA and not half the, not half the number of DNA. Now, what are some examples where your cells need to divide? Because I just told you, your cells need to divide at some point. Can you think of some examples? There are two key examples. One is aging. Think about it. How do you, how do you turn from a tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny baby into the masculine man or the female you are now. The, the way you do that is, well, your cells need to divide because when you go get from a baby to an adult, your cells do not get bigger. It's not like your cells increase in size and that's why you're uh, bigger. Your cells become more. So the only difference between you and this baby is that you have way more cells, okay? So that's one reason why we need to do cell division. Now, another reason would be healing. Think about it. If you go and fall your absolute nuts off, face first on pavement, and you scrape the skin off, off your beautiful face, and is it going to stay like that forever? No, right? It's going to heal, hopefully. Maybe with a little scar, but like, it could heal perfect. So how does it do that? Well, you pretty much scraped off a lot of cells, right, when you, get, when you fall on your face. And after a while... Those cells will, um, the cells will duplicate and duplicate and duplicate until the space is filled in again with new cells, right? So that's another example of where we need to do cell division. Okay, awesome. So now you know where your DNA is from. I mean, where your DNA is stored, why on earth we need to duplicate our DNA. Um, now, I want to highlight something important. I want to have a quick review of your DNA structure. For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.